10 JavaScript libraries you should know about. Check it out. Oh, Hey guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again. Listen guys, okay, so we are here. We're going to look at 10 different libraries and frameworks and just JavaScript packages and NPM packages and, you know, whatever you want to call them, right? <laughs> repos, okay? So 10 repos that you should definitely keep an eye on in 2019. Okay, so we have right here DVA. So DVA.js is a new framework, React and Redux based, lightweight and Elm style framework inspired by Elm and Chu. Okay, now this is a framework that seems to be catching on in, in, in the Chinese market. Like, it's getting pretty big. It's getting up there. It's like it's, it's climbing up the charts, right? And one thing that you're going to notice if you follow anything that has to do with GitHub or, you know, just the JavaScript world, it seems like your boys in China, they're trying to do a takeover, kids. <laughs> Shout out to the people in China, man. Uh, but, yeah, it seems like uh, soon it's not just going to be Silicon Valley that's coming out with all of the greatest tools in frameworks guys there's a lot of guys in china right now busting their ass and working hard and you know they're giving us competition right now okay so keep an eye on this library okay this framework so check it out it's called dva js okay then we have another one which is called nestjs so nestjs is a new framework for node.js okay it's a modern framework it has a lot of cool things already integrated to it so definitely check this one out okay so it says under the hood nest makes use of express you know at the same time i'm like man how many frameworks are going to be <laughs> made on top of express js like it's kind of ridiculous you know people can actually go and build all of these things directly with no js without having to use a framework but I don't know why they keep doing this, why they keep uh, <laughs> creating a framework on top of a framework. But it is what it is. Shout out to Nest.js. All right. Check them out. OK, they're climbing up the charts. Another one, Phaser.js. OK, so Phaser 3 just came out recently. And some of you guys are probably looking at this like, Joe, why would I care about this? I'm not looking to make no games. Guys, you like it or not? Games on the web are a reality okay at some point you will have to make a game like it or not right if you're planning on working on a digital agency or you're planning on just trying to make some income on your on your own right some passive income well games is really the way to go okay you guys remember slither.io um yeah and there's like a million different more uh, you know online games that they came from the web okay so definitely check them out okay the next one that we have here is prettier so prettier is close to like beautifier what i use on on adam but it's pretty cool because what it does it, it cleans up your code okay so a lot of people are falling for this new way of formatting your code okay like this is how it is and this is how it ends up, right? It's nice and clean, right? You can come here and make a mess, write your code all crazy, but at least you know, hey, Pretty is gonna clean it up and make it nice and clean like this, okay? It's nice and readable, all right? Definitely check out Prettier. This is one of those libraries, those uh, packages that you're gonna be using a lot in 2019. So keep an eye on them, okay? Another one is Frappy Charts. You could check them out on frappy.io slash charts. Okay. Um, they have a lot of cool things here, man. Like if you ever work with dashboards and most likely you, you will at some point when you become a, a full stack developer, you will be working with charts. Okay. And making reports and having libraries like this just make your life easier. Like, look at this. This is so simple. You know, it's like, hey, you pass in an array with your data sets. You know, you have your labels. Okay, it's very simple, very easy to read. You know, it's pretty legit. Got a lot of cool stuff, you know. Got updates. Look how beautiful that looks, man. 
Yeah, definitely. Check them out, guys. Go give it a try. Frappy.io slash charts. We have another one here. Google Puppeteer. Okay. If you ever wonder how to take a screenshot of a website, you know, through JavaScript, you can do this through this, right? At the same time, you can crawl a single page application. You could crawl through a service side application. Right, you could literally just say, "Hey, puppeteer, go to this website, right, and go ahead, take a screenshot. Go ahead, give me the data that's on that page, right? Like literally, you could go ahead and use this thing, <laughs> all right? You could go here, give it a try. Look, okay, so simple. Browser, await puppeteer that launch cons page, new page, right? Await page, go to example.com console log, await page content, and run it." <laughs> I mean, it's pretty simple, right? So it looks at what's there and then it gives you the results. All right. So it is what it is, guys. There's a lot of use cases that you can do, like for uh, Puppeteer JS. So go check it out, man. It's not going to take you any time to just try this thing out because you never know when you're going to use it. Okay. Hey guys, this video is brought to you by CodingPhase.com, the number one community for self-taught developers. This is where you learn how to code, and this is where you learn how to get your job. Come visit us, CodingPhase.com. Evergreen. So Evergreen is a UI framework, okay? So basically, it's a whole bunch of components. It has its own styling, right? Is Think of it, you know, for the new people that's coming in, think of it like Bootstrap for or react okay you want to create a drop down you want to create a modal you want to create like little things like that well now you have it here with react okay you can come here browse some components you know you can check out the typography that they already set okay some buttons some badges some avatars some autocomplete you know i could come here and say apple right and look how beautiful that looks oh my god Whoever made this, you see, this is the thing. This is why it's important to have designers around, guys. Like, the guys who built this not only are great developers, but they have great designers and, and a beautiful, uh, you know, way of, like, looking at code and say, you know what, man, let's clean this up. Let's make this thing more beautiful because look at this drop down. Like, this is beautiful, man. Like, this makes me want to use it, okay? Like... It's not just that ugly things that you have on, on you know, on the regular browsers. Like, they look ugly. <laughs> Let's be honest, right? They look ugly. So, it's pretty nice, compact, okay? Think of it, like I said, think of it of Bootstrap, but for React, okay? A whole bunch of components, different toggles, feedback, you know, overlays, size sheets, toolkits, lists, tables, you know, a whole bunch of good stuff. All right. The next one we have here is Walt. Okay. If you want to jump into that world of WebAssembly, guys, this is where you start. <laughs> okay. If you are a JavaScript developer and you want to play around with WebAssembly, I think this is the way to go. Okay. Some people have been saying, man, you could use C, C++, you could use Rust. Yes, we know that. But. What makes this cool is that it's very similar to JavaScript. So if you ever use JavaScript, you should be feeling like you're at home. Okay, you could try this out. Come here, World Explorer, and look, this is how it looks. Okay, you're creating a const x i32 equals to 2. Okay, export function echo i32 const x inside of it, right? i32 uh, 42 return x. Look at it in JavaScript. Okay, compile buffers, return web assembly, da da da, exports, da da da, console log, okay, and this is web assembly. Okay, so yeah, I mean, it's not that bad, right? It's not that bad. If you look at it right here, it looks very similar to JavaScript. So yeah, man, let me see. Come over here, a little bounce, create a little bounce, right? Come here. For whatever reason, there. <laughs> Okay, there you go. So it is working now. It takes a little time to like actually show up, but you could play around with it. It's pretty cool. Okay, definitely check them out. I think it's one of those things that you're going to be using in 2019. Okay, so if you want to be one of those guys that is ahead of the curve, ahead of everybody, 
You know, when they come back and be like, have you tried Walt? And you'll be like, yeah, I tried it. My boy, Coding Face, told me about it. Okay. <laughs> then we have Anime JS. Okay. So a lot of people have been trying to get into animations and creating, you know, cool animations. And people know about GSAP, right? Right? I'm pretty sure you guys know about GSAP. Come on, man. You guys should know about GSAP, right? So Anime JS is giving them, <laughs> you know, a run for their money right now. Because is very simple is very beautiful um their website i really like what they're doing here you know you could use timeline it, it's similar like i said it's very similar to uh what you have with gsap okay it's a animation uh library it's pretty cool i'll probably do like a quick uh crash course on this for you guys somewhere in the near future okay if you want to see a little crash course on this let me know okay put it in the comment section now the next one that we have here is a framework i know you guys is tired oh my god for javascript how many frameworks you guys are gonna create to do the same thing that the other framework did <laughs> trust me i feel the same way but this is what makes javascript exciting right and once again like i said it seems like your boys in good old china you know they're doing that work man you know they they doing that work out here kids all right so um yeah it's a new framework i will say it's like similar to react and a little bit similar to what polymer js is trying to do now this thing is trending right now this thing when i'm, I'm telling you right now it's trending right now at this moment as we speak at this very second at this very millisecond right it's trending right now okay this thing is popping off and a lot of people seem to like it i haven't tried it i'll be honest i haven't tried it hey i looked at it i say uh based on shadow dom uh i already do that with polymer right i'm that type of person right if i'm already have those tools i don't want to do your new tool that's doing something that something else is already doing I, you know that's the main reason why i i don't like vue.js i'm sorry guys the people that are hating me they're like oh god you don't like vue.js no, I don't like Vue.js. Vue.js doesn't solve any problems. To me, it feels like, hey, it's Angular and, and React. They had a baby and that's it. But if we have Angular and we have React, why would I use Vue.js? So this is the same thing as this. I'm looking at this. I'm like, uh, why would I use this when I already have Polymer? Eh, you know what I mean? Why would I use this when I have React? Eh, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? So anyways, man guys this is your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video if you're looking to learn how to code guys open up a new tab go to codingphase.com you click there right this page loads up you click over here go to courses jesus christ go to the courses right check the old membership man get all access pass do it for yourself, man. Don't do it for me. Do it for yourself, man. If you want to learn how to code, you want to be part of the cool kids, okay? Yeah, man. Come here. You know, all of these courses. Check them out. And if you're already a member, guys, do yourself a favor. Go check out the MySQL course. Stop slacking. We're doing an amazing project in there, and the course itself is complete. 100% complete. Look at all of this videos, all of this content for you guys. You know what I mean? Like, come here, man. Trust me. You're going to learn my SQL. You're going to build an amazing inventory management system. Go check it out. Okay. If Matter of fact, let's give you a little quick preview. Okay. Let's say localhost 3333. This is it. Okay. So here you go. Build this, right? Going to build reports. Going to build a dashboard. You know, you're going to build some cool stuff. Nice right it's nice right so come through come check it out codingphase.com anyways man it's your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com peace